GPT-4 has proven to be so much better than ChatGPT in terms of accuracy, input word limits, and most powerfully, its ability to take in multimodal prompts. In a recent developer live stream, OpenAI demoed how GPT-4 can create a fully functional website from just a napkin drawing, which is amazing and scary all at the same time. ChatGPT was only able to take limited bodies of text input. GPT-4 has an expanded text horizon and is multimodal. That means it can take in image prompts and it's reasonable to assume that in the very near future, it will be able to take in video prompts as well as audio prompts. GPT-4 can also summarize your email box and provide really clear, actionable outcomes. At what cost, you may wonder. Does this mean that GPT-4 can read through all your emails and do all your emails now form part of its training database? Can someone, if they wanted to, gain specific access to the information in these emails? The reason I'm bringing this up is for people to continue exploring AI and adding it to be part of your life with a due consideration. The OpenAI website mentions some privacy considerations. However, please let me know if you have seen more specific examples on privacy considerations or if users can restrict their inputs from being added to a database for training purposes. Let me know in the comments section. Another use case I have been made aware of is users uploading corporate documents to either access summaries, break down step-by-step -step reasoning, add to the context of the document, or access GPT-4's really powerful language translation skills. Is that body of text now used for GPT-4 training purposes? And who can gain access to this document and how often do they access the document? In my view, it is essential that we take the necessary steps not to upload sensitive information or simply anything that could be considered corporate knowledge. Let me know in the comments section what your organization's posture on ChatGPT is. Is it restricted? Is it fully open or is it blocked? If you would like to use ChatGPT as a means of understanding and learning the English language much better for free, click here.